Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the mobile app in Allocate. When your scheduler sends a job to you, you will see a notification on your phone. Click on it, and you will see the dashboard with your new job at the top under Jobs Awaiting Acceptance. Before accepting the job, you may want to click into it. Here, you can see the details such as the start date, the company, the site contact, and the site location. Next, we can view what equipment will be used and what resources have been allocated. Once you're satisfied that you are aware of all relevant details of the job, click back on the home icon and click accept. All accepted jobs within the next seven days will now show under the next seven days on your dashboard. You may notice this section is showing who the timesheet manager is on this job. This person is responsible for writing in the timesheets for everyone on the shift. If this is you and you've completed your shift, you'll need to enter a timesheet by clicking on the timesheet tab. This will give you the opportunity to enter all the times into these sections. The travel start time, the shift start, break start, and break end, as well as shift end and travel end. There is also the option to enter the travel to, travel during, and travel from distances. An example of a possible regular day can be seen in the video now. Sometimes a warning message will appear like the one in this video. This could be because the times that have been entered are incorrect or if the shift ran longer than expected. If this happens, the numbers on your timesheet will turn orange to alert you. You'll just need to review your timesheet again and make sure all entries are correct. If the entries are correct and you're still seeing warnings, you'll just need to let your site contact know and ask them to tick this box saying I have read the shift notes and or confirm all time exceptions. Once the times have been entered, you have the option to enter any notes that you may find relevant, such as an explanation for extra hours or if the client wasn't on site, for example. Enter your signature, then ask your site contact to review and sign your timesheet. If they are happy with the hours entered, they can sign here. If they are not on site, turn this toggle on. Once both parties are satisfied, the employee will click review and submit and it will give you one last opportunity to look over everything. To finalize this timesheet, just hit submit. If the job has any forms and attachments, it will require you to complete them before submitting. Once this is complete, the forms will turn green and the notifications above the forms and attachments button will disappear. Once these forms and attachments are complete, the timesheet can finally be submitted.